Good morning, all. Good morning, good morning. Um, and I should say to each of you, to your parents also, and extended family, I see some new faces. So please, don't leave the sanctuary before I get to connect those names and faces. I'd love to meet you. Amen? Amen. This morning we have a, um, um, a little sharing to do with you. Um, Dan is going to read scripture, and then afterwards he's going to illustrate how basketball players shoot free throws. And then I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay? So from Luke 5, verses 1 through 11. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gesaranet, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the, the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put it out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night but have caught nothing. Yet, you said, yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in from the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they, all, that they both began to sink. And when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down to Jesus' knees saying, go away from me, Lord, for I have fish that, that I have, for I have fish that they have take, had, had taken. So they, were, so they were also with James and John's and sons of Zebedee who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid, for no on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. You have a team on board a boat, and they are fishermen. And they had been fishing all night, but caught nothing. Nothing at all. And then Jesus shows up and he says, you know what? Throw your net on the other side of the boat. And they said, coach, we know all about this game. We've been doing this all our lives. We know how to fish. And Jesus said, throw the net on the other side of the boat. They needed a coach. Coach? Coach Dan coaches a team here. What's the name of the school? The Gilbert School. Gilbert School. I've got a lot of players that I've been coaching them throughout my years. And they all step up to that foul line and they all say, Coach, I got it, Coach. I'm good. I know how to shoot free throws. I'm good. First shot goes up. Maybe we hit the net. <laughs> Maybe we hit the backboard. Maybe I, I said, do you, mean, do you need me to move the rim? <laughs> I can move it if you, it, it was there, someone closed that door because there was a strong wind in it and took that ball. And they said, coach, can, then can you show me? I said, I'll show you, I'll show you, but it takes time, it takes, it takes practice, practice, and you gotta listen, you gotta listen all the time, and you gotta, your muscle memory has to be intact, in so when you get to that free throw line in that game and all those nerves are going on inside you and you, you're on, you got pressure and you wanna make that shot, you gotta be able to breathe. You just gotta take it and you gotta breathe and you just gotta let it all out. And then you hold your breath when the shot goes. You gotta shake your hands loose a little bit. You gotta get down, you gotta bend your knees a little bit, right? And you gotta focus. You gotta focus right on that rim. And you gotta get yourself set to that shot. You gotta get right there, you got your elbow in, and you got your fingertips. And when you release that ball, you let everything go. You just let everything go because by the time, when it, when it leases out of your hand, what can you do about it? Nothing. You just got to trust that it's going to go in the hoop because of everything that you prepared to do before you got to that point. And then it's going to go right in the basket. And we're going to swish. Right? We're going to swish that thing right in there. So we get ourselves set and release that ball and release it in there. Right? So when you relax, get to that line and relax. 
Don't let the pressures get to you. Shake it out. Focus. Focus. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. Show them how to do the hand. What do they do with their hand as they're shooting? When you follow through, you let the wrist go. You let the wrist go and you hang it out there, right? Don't move yourself until that ball hits the net, until it hits the rim and it goes through. Hold your foul through. I tell my kids all the time, hold your foul. They like to shoot the ball and then they like to bring their hand back down and kind of watch the <laughs> I'm like, no, hold it out there. Let it go in there. You don't need to move. You don't need to do anything. Just stand there and hold it. Get yourself to practice, 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 and just know that your muscle memory is coming up to your body. The shot starts at your toes and ends at your fingertips. You can just let it all go. Right from there. Right from there. Ethan wants to try it. Ethan wants to try it? <laughs> you play basketball? And I know you do. Who else plays basketball? I know how to shoot. <laughs> yeah, and I can play that. Okay. Well, this one, Ethan, right now. Ethan's going to try it. Ethan, Ethan Come on. All right, so I'm going to set you up just right, okay? What I try to tell my kids, when you guys are younger, you got to use your legs. You can't, your upper body isn't strong enough to get to that rim. So you got to use your whole body, right? So the first thing I want to do is I always tell them, hold that basketball like a, like a pizza pie. Like you're working in a pizza, a pizza restaurant, right? That's where you want to hold it right there. So your wrist is bent right in the position you want to, you're going to shoot from. You know, bend your knees, get comfortable, get a nice wide stance. Right? You got to have a good base. If you're going to build a house, you got to have a good base, right? So there you go, you got a good base. When you let that thing go, you're going to straight up. And who's going to catch it for me? You catch the ball for me? Oh, yeah, come on. Stand up. Right there. Yeah, I know. I saw him coming in. That's why I'm using the phone. Big guy. Okay, you ready? There you go. All right, ready? Can you get ready? Can I shoot? Shoot to him. Catch him. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Good job. Good job. Now, Ethan, come here a minute. What didn't you follow with the coach's instructions? I was watching you the whole time. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> you put your hand down. All right. So here's Jesus. Jesus is the Lord of the sea, the sky, and the world. And he tells his disciples, put the net out on the other side. And they say, we know this thing. We don't need any coaching. Jesus said, put the net on the other side. <laughs> and they listened. And guess what happened? They started pulling the net in and it was full of, full of I started to say full of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it was full of fish. And one couldn't do it. And so he had to get another one to help him pull the net in. And then they had to get another one. Come on, get up here. Get up, get up, get up, help to help them pull, pull the, the net, net in. Pull and the net, net was still too, too heavy. So they said to the people in the other ship, come over here. We need help. <laughs> and when they pulled the net into the boat, there were 153 Fish. A whole lot of fish. In the net. Follow the coach's instructions. If you want to succeed in life, if you want to succeed as a Christian, if you want to be a good disciple who helps other people know who Jesus is, you got to follow his instructions. Amen? Amen. Thank you.